kick-ass facts. I thought we were done with divorce, but not by a long shot. Pew, 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 pew! Come with me on an adventure from 1900 to 1920-something where divorce made the newspapers. And I'm going to share with you, get some popcorn, just get some popcorn. Minnesota, 1900, ghost causes divorce. I desperately wish I had more details about this one. Missouri, 1906, denied pickles, wants divorce. I see you, bitch. Mrs. Flora Delaney complains about husband's order to eat mangoes. I mean, I love a mango, but mangoes, pickles, worlds apart, Mr. Delaney. Missouri, 1907, prefers cigarettes to objecting husband. Mrs. Jenny Kimsey says she won't give up the habit to fight divorce. Missouri, 1907, wife who fed cat at table gets divorced. Joseph McCamley's objections not sustained either at home or in court. Vancouver, Canada, Canada represent, 1908, ice cream soda causes divorce. Another one from Missouri, 1908, husband says naughty book broke up home. What the balls is going down in Missouri? 1908, sleeping woman falls out of wagon and keeps right on sleeping, she declares. Preacher husband doubts word, so wife leaves him and sues for divorce. Missouri, 1908, pushed off of trunk by wife, asks for divorce. Edward Huber wants court to settle point in domestic etiquette. She raised the issue, get off that trunk, she yelled, but husband sat tight. This one happened in New York, but it made the newspaper in Indiana. 1909, separation papers had been secured by a man and wife because the husband could not give up the tobacco chewing habit and because the wife insisted on kissing the cat every night before retiring. Say it with me, folks. My fucking Zuri. 1909, costs $25 to fight wife for share of bed. Romich thought she was taking up more space than she was entitled to. Missouri, 1909. It was a wild time in Missouri, 1909. Love fled when husband found spirit affinity. Mrs. Mendelssohn says he also offered her a ghostly lover. Well, that's generous. Guess what? Missouri, 1909. Wife objected to be killed when in bath. I mean, I object outside the bath, too. Divorce bill says she asked for time to dress and husband hesitated. She sees the pistol. This episode should just be called Missouri. 1909. Husband declares wife had doctor make him old. Defendant in divorce suit alleges blood of aged man was injected into his arm to destroy his youth and vivacity. If you see my guy, if you see a doctor coming at you with a syringe that's already full of blood, just maybe say no. I mean, I'm not victim shaming here or anything, but fella. Missouri, 1909. I have a thousand questions about this headline. Lobster, milk, and egg shower ends marriage. Finally, California, 1909. Wife kept dogs and cats in bed. He slept on chairs. Divorce. Another one from California, 1909. Would not get ice cream. Divorce. <laughs> I get it. Chicago, 1910. Reads at night, sleeps all day, accusing her husband, Eugene Fields Jr., the poet's son, of spending his nights in reading romantic novels and his days in sleep. Mrs. Eugene Field Jr., formerly and soon to be again, Brooks, today filed a divorce suit. Damn, Missouri, I thought we were done with you. 1910, wife is kicked out of bed because she reads her poetry to her husband. It was good verse, she tells the court. Divorce is granted. I guess the court disagreed. Last one from Missouri, I promise. 1910, wife accused of putting soap in her husband's coffee, asks for divorce. California, 1911, fears wife's nagging will drive him insane. Ten years of nagging is given as the chief cause for the filing of a divorce complaint by Robert Cherry against Rosa Cherry, to whom he was married in Oakland in 1899. He states that he fears if he is forced to remain longer with her, he will become insane. Pennsylvania, 1920, hubby eats onions, wife grows angry, divorce is granted. Oregon, 1921, wife wore overalls and hoboed. Indiana, 1922, hubby talked too much, wife granted divorce. Pennsylvania, 1924, a man tickled his wife so much that she divorced him. Finally, another one that raises a bajillion questions. Pennsylvania, 1929, love and hot dogs in divorce suit.